Hi everyone. One more quick video in the Machinist Jack series, and uh, this is in response to a fella named Mikey O131 that wanted to see everything put together. And uh, so I've got the jack body and the, the screw and everything. And if you wanted to use these, you could do them singularly, or if you needed a little extra height, you could use either or both of the extensions. So pretty easy to use. Um, the number of uses for these is pretty much innumerable. Uh, I use them a lot if I have to have something sticking out of the side of the vise a good distance, especially if it's relatively thin. If I'm drilling holes and it's flexing, I'll put the jack underneath it to keep it from flexing downwards. Or if I'm machining on it and it wants to vibrate and chatter, I'll go ahead and uh, put something under there just for a little extra support. I've got some pictures of a setup I did not too long ago where I had to machine something on a manhole cover. The underside was a very uneven surface so I used two machinist jacks on either side to get it level this way and then I used shims on the other side to get it uh, level in the X direction. Another common use that I use it for would be if I'm sawing something in my bandsaw and it's relatively short and maybe I can only grip onto an inch or so of the, uh, of the part. Um, in order to keep my bandsaw vise from shifting, I'll put the machinist jack sideways in there and adjust it so that it takes up the, the space and I can grip the part more securely. So our holes in the part are for a 3 16th dowel pin, so you can slip that in there and do your last little bit of adjustment if you're leveling something. Uh, of course you could also use a 5 8 wrench on the square. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.